EDB is a powerful tool. It allows you to access settings on your Android device that are normally not available directly from user interface. You can use EDB from your laptop or PC, or you can just use Bugeager app directly from your Android device or iPhone. Note that not all commands that I show in this video might work on every single Android device. There are just too many Android devices out there, with many different customizations and Android versions that will affect what is accessible. You will need to figure out what works for you. Some commands persist after reboot. Make sure you understand what they do and how to revert them. To enter the commands in Bugeager app, either start the interactive shell or create a custom command by tapping the plus button in commands tab. Here are the commands. You can force specific GPU rendering pipeline, like OpenGL's Gear or Vulkan. With setprop shell command, set the system property for rendering pipeline. You can disable swap interval with following commands. This can force immediate rendering without waiting for display to refresh. It can improve performance, but sometimes parts of two different frames might be visible, so called screen tearing. You can force Surface Flinger to use hardware composition with GPU. Surface Flinger is responsible for compositing graphical layer on Android. This means layer of the system and app user interface. You can also set the composition type for Surface Flinger with setprop debug.composition.typed in. DYN means dynamic. This adapts composition type based on current workload. You can also force CGL hardware acceleration with following. You can also try to adjust timing for various stages of rendering pipeline by adjusting the following three properties. This can help you minimize latency and stuttering. The offsets will vary depending on the device. Experimentation might be required. If you use Oculus VR glasses, you can try to adjust the refresh rate with following command. You can also try to set display refresh rate, CPU performance level, and GPU performance level. There are many more commands that you can use with Bugeager. It's a powerful and versatile tool. I'll try to show more tricks that you can do in upcoming videos. Search for Bugeager on Google Play Store and Apple App Store.